Here are the main elements of a marine diesel engine's fuel system. The fuel tank has both a filler pipe and a breather pipe. The breather is important as it enables air to be drawn back into the tank as the fuel level goes down. If it's blocked, a vacuum is created in the tank and fuel cannot flow to the rest of the system. Therefore, we must know where the breather outlet is located. It's normally close to the tank itself, in the hull of the boat. Next, the fuel passes through a shut-off valve, which enables us to switch off the fuel system when we are doing maintenance. From here, it passes through a water separator, the first type of filtering the fuel gets. There are four things that stop the system working properly. Lack of fuel, dirty fuel, air in the fuel system and water in the fuel. The bottom half of the separator is normally made of perspex. Through this we can see the separated water lying beneath the fuel. At the very bottom of the separator body there is a small tap. Opening this allows us to drain away any unwanted water. Next the fuel passes through a lift pump. This is a diaphragm style pump bolted into the side of the engine that sucks and pushes the fuel around the system. They are rarely problematic. On the side of the pump is a small handle that can be pushed backwards and forwards. This enables us to push fuel through the system when the engine is not running. The main fuel filter is next in line. This takes cartridge style filters designed to catch dirt in the fuel. They are easily changed by simply unscrewing the old cartridge and screwing on a new one. On the top of the fuel filter holder we find the pipes carrying fuel to and from the filter plus an additional screw or bolt. This is for bleeding air out of the system. It is hollow and when unscrewed exposes a small hole above the filter holder body. By operating the lift pump handle mentioned earlier we can pump any air out of the system. When a constant stream of fuel appears through the bleed screw hole we can retighten it. From here the fuel passes into the injector pump which regulates the flow of fuel to each cylinder and from there to the individual injectors that deliver the fuel into the cylinders. There is also a return pipe from the injector pump back to the fuel tank for any unused diesel. The last two parts of the system are not designed to be fixed at sea however any problems are normally in the earlier elements. In summary then, if our engine either fails to start or runs unevenly, it is probably a fuel problem. We can check that the breather pipe is unobstructed. We can drain any water from the system, from the separator. We can change the fuel filter and we can bleed air from the system using the combination of the bleed screw on the filter body and the lift pump's manual operation handle. One final tip that will help you while you're trying to find all these pieces. There are two gauges of pipes running around a diesel engine. The thinner is used to carry fuel. The thicker is used to carry water for the cooling system, which is discussed in the next lecture.